Hello everyone, in this video there are three teams for each difficulty of the new treasure hunt missions. This first team will be a double buggy team since I believe the new Luffy does not offer duplicate drops for this difficulty. This mission will refresh every day with a rainbow gem upon completion, so that is pretty easy source of gems, very short mission. You could probably run Kaido if you don't care about CC or Forbidden Tomes. And this is kind of a preview of what team I will be using on the hardest difficulty. This team only has two extra drops because it's only double buggy. Next team is going to be with a friend Captain Kaido to just showcase what would happen if you wanted to speed clear. You could probably run double buggy, but you'd have to stall. And I don't think it's worth because this mission only drops manuals for specific legends. Maybe if you needed the manuals, but you probably could just farm the daily manual island. So you really only need to do this one once for the rainbow gem first time completion. Now at the time of recording, I do not have access to the free Ichiban Luffy that you get from the daily login. There's still a couple of days left, I think, until you can get him. So once you do get him, you can put him on the team where this Luffy is. You don't need support Akainu. He is just there to guarantee another orb on the Luffy. So any support that would generate an orb for Luffy, like even Vivi. And you can just use that Luffy special whenever. I don't end up using Luffy special in this video because I do not have him leveled and he doesn't really do much. Support Odin is required for this team since he'll allow uh, Neko to bypass special rewind so that Neko can get rid of the silence on the rest of the team, mainly Weevil, so then Weevil can rewind, I mean can charge up the other character specials, which is get just Kawamatsu I guess. Neko Mamushi also provides a chain boost which is pretty crucial for damage, although you do have support kid who helps. I tried this team without support kid, you do need, you do want a full board of matching orbs if you are not going to be using support kid. And you probably need to hit all your perfects. Now if you had the other Luffy, you could probably just use him whenever you need the damage. For instance, you could use him on the Robin stage or on the Frankie stage. Actually not on the Frankie stage since you're already getting... Like, your friend Captain Luffy's damage so should be sufficient.
Neko giving the chain boost, Kawamatsu providing an attack boost and getting rid of paralysis, Weevil charging up Kawamatsu special as well as providing an orb boost. Odin also gives Neko an Wano orb, which shouldn't really affect much. You only need it for the special charge. You could put Support Akainu on Kawamatsu as well, just to give Luffy a matching orb, if you don't plan on using Luffy special. Now on the reward screen, you will only see 5 extra drops, but though with the login Luffy that you will get in the future, he gives an extra 1 drop when he's on the team, so that will be 5 plus 1, 6. 